Hi there, welcome to ICT Kenya. In this, this is the first video in our brand new series where we focus on college computer practical exams, helping you to get ready, practice, and pass with confidence. Today we are started with computer application, word processing, practical exam. We'll go through it step by step, nice and easy, and yes, we'll make it a fun too. So before we begin, make sure you download the exam paper from the link in the video description so you can follow along and do it with me. So are you ready? Let's dive in and get started. Here's a Kenya is a NEC Diploma Technology one, Module 1 exam. We have basic instructions here like uh, the, you are supposed to choose two out of four questions. Then printing is supposed to print only one-sided. You're so supposed to burn your work in a CD. I've already done a video on how to do this, as you can see from the screen. Then from there, all uh, candidates should answer the question in English. Anyway, so let's go to question one. Question one is on word processing, whereby we're told to open a word processing program. And then on opening this, what are we supposed to do? Create the following document as it appears. Save the document as cleanliness in the exam, Mac exam folder. So that's what we're going to do right now. We start by creating the folder. Then the folder name is Mac exam. Opening the folder. Here is it. It's blank. I can go to start menu. Choose this word. And then from there, I can now go to new. Blank document. By default, the name of blank document is just Microsoft Word document. So go to File, Save As, browse the location, and search for desktop. Here is it. And scroll here in case you can't see it. And then locate your folder. Double click it to open it. And then type the new name, which is cleanliness. Then from there, we have some text here. Starting the heading, cleanliness, then some several uh, paragraphs here. And then lastly, we have a table. So I'm going to paste a plain text in my document. And then we're going to start formatting one by one. So here is the blank document. Let me remove the spacings. So just like this. So I'm going to show you how you can make this text to appear like the one you can see on your screen. Now let us commence. Cleanliness. We have to apply bold and center align. So select cleanliness. Then after selecting cleanliness, you go to B or control plus B. Then center align it or control plus A. And we have already sorted that part. The other part is C. We have letter C here. Letter C is we have our, our drop cap, which takes about four lines. So select letter C. Then from there, go to insert. Then select drop cap. And we have two types of drop cap. That is dropped and in margin. The one in our question paper is in margin. We select it. But we can still modify it. Go back to drop cap and drop cap cap options. Lines to drop, increase the lines to about four. Then you click OK. And this is how you would handle the drop cap. The other part which needs to be formatted is meaning of terms. It is bold. Therefore, we're going to select. Here, then we bold it. Then from there we have terms like disinfect, sanitization, disinfection, and sterilization. All of them are italicized. So we select sanitization, italicize it. Disinfection, italicize it, and sterilization, italicize it. Then we have the word cleaning. The word cleaning has got a line cutting through that is called strike through. To do so, select the, line, the word, go back to home, and you'll find under font group, there will be, how do you call this? It's called uh, strike through. 
clicking it will cut the line. So the other thing we need to apply here is two columns. Where is these two columns? From sanitizing agents up to sterilized. That is from where? Here up to this point. These three paragraphs should be divided into two columns. So the first thing to do, you ought to select the three paragraphs. And from there, we go to layout where we find different page formatting features. Then select column. You can even go to more columns. Then from there, we need two columns. In case you need more than this, you can also increase by clicking this icon here and just reduce. We need two only. And again, we need a line between. Then you click OK. By this, your, your three paragraphs will be divided into two. Now, the next thing to check is on to know where the second paragraph commences. It is from the word sometimes. So check from your document sometimes. Here is it. So in this case, you go to position your cursor at the word sometimes or before that word. Then you go to breaks. Then apply a column break. So this is how it works. Now sometimes sterilization, elimination, blah, blah, blah commences in the second paragraph. So we make use of column break. Perfect. So the other thing we need to check is on the last paragraph. There's nothing to apply here. So in our case, still, there's nothing to apply. So let's go to the last part, which is a table. In this table, we need to know the number of columns. We count the maximum number of columns. So from type, we have uh, here is one, we have another one, two, three. We have three columns. A number of rows, maximum number of rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you need a table of three by eight. To insert a table, we go to insert. Then we have a grid here, three by eight. This one is three by six, so it will not help us. So we go to insert table. We need three columns and eight rows. And then what is the nature of this table? The table is very small. So again, you just select out of fit content. And then click OK and it will be a very small table. Okay, sorry. I'm going to undo. The table should appear immediately after this paragraph. So I am going to press my cursor here and press enter and redo. Insert table, insert table. Let's find number of columns to be three and number of rows to be eight. Then out of it contents. And from there you click OK. And here is our table. So after typing the content like this way, now it's time to format it. We have the heading here. Select the three top columns or the three, the first row. And then under table layout, you're going to find merge cells. Then center align. Then bold. For disinfectants, we have the first two columns merged. So we select them. Then you can right click and you'll see merge cells. Then another merge column is liquid. Liquid has got three rows merged. Right click them and then merge. Then we have the last two occupied by gas. Again, right click and merge. Then for the gas and liquid, you can see there is a different alignment. So for liquid, select the first cell that is liquid, go to table layout and then text direction and click it. And then make sure you also say align center. 
for the gas you do the same click gas text direction you yeah, adjust it like that then for the gas make sure also you align center like this now we will find that the two columns like this they have got a different background which is a bit gray so go to table design shading and apply gray background like this this gray no this one is a bit okay then we have to make this table fit in one page from the exam paper we can see that the, pa the table is in the next page so we can push it to the next page just the way we applied a column break we can go back to layout go to breaks but now we don't need a, a column break we need a page break the page break will push the table to the next page So now we are done with that one and by doing this you're going to get your 17 marks is allocated in the exam paper. Now the other question is apply a first line indentation format to the last paragraph. To the last paragraph. Here is our last paragraph. You select all of it. Then we go to home. From home, there is paragraph formatting features. Check this icon. Then indents. We want first line indent. From there, now you can click OK. And that's how you apply it. First line indent. Then the other question is apply justify alignment to the text in two columns. So select the text in the two columns. Then from home tab, we're going to find paragraph. And then we have three icons here. Or even there are four. This is default one, which is align left, center align, right align, and then we have justified. Click it. And then you'll find that they are justified aligned. Now, the other one is insert the following in the document created a header with the text cleanliness appearing at the top left of the pages. So to insert a header, you can even double click the header, then insert the text, clean, yes. And we're told that it should appear at the top left. This is the top left. Then from there, you can now close and it will appear in all pages. Then page numbers is a footer. To insert a page number in a document, you can just double click the footer of any of the pages, like this one. And then from there, now go to page number. Then you need page number at the bottom. You can choose any of these tiles, not unless the exam is specified. Like I like choosing page one of. You can choose it like this one here. And you see, this is page one of two. And this is page two of two, close header and footer. So that's how you do it. Then the last question is, um, save the changes to print out later the document. After that, now the document is okay. It is complete. The only thing you're supposed to do is to save. You can also convert this document to a PDF. How do we do so? Go to file, go to save us. Select your folder it is here. If you can't see it here, just go to browse, then find it. You can find it by default here. In case again you can't see it, go to desktop, next exam, and then from save as type, you can convert to PDF. And then you save. And the document will be converted to PDF. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you followed along and learned something useful. In the next episode, we will be tackling question two. 
which is all about spreadsheets. So don't miss it. If this video helps you out, the best way you can appreciate is be liking, sharing, subscribing to ICT Kenya. It really supports the channel and keeps the lessons coming. See you the next one. Goodbye.